Get ready for a mind-blowing journey through the secrets of the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. You may think you already know everything about this gas planet, but the fifth case in this video will surprise you the most. From its mysterious great red spot to its stunning auroras, Jupiter has fascinated astronomers for centuries. But have you ever wondered what lies beneath the swirling clouds of Jupiter? In this video, we'll explore the latest discoveries from NASA and reveal the incredible wonders of Jupiter's core, atmosphere, and more. So buckle up and prepare for an adrenaline-filled journey. And remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment below with your favorite fact about Jupiter. Let's dive in. NASA finds hidden depths in Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Let's explore the depths of Jupiter's Great Red Spot with NASA's Juno spacecraft, which finally gives us a glimpse of the biggest storm in the solar system. Unlike Earth storms that typically last for a few days or weeks, scientists have continually observed the Great Red Spot for around two centuries, which is believed to be much older. The Great Red Spot resembles a supersized storm, consisting mainly of clouds. Planetary scientist Paul Byron says it's similar to cyclones, hurricanes, or typhoons on Earth. But with a diameter of 10,000 miles, it's much larger than any storm on our planet. And despite being observed from a distance for centuries, the Great Red Spot has shrunk and transformed its shape, making it more mysterious. In 2011, NASA's Juno mission embarked on a journey to Jupiter, reaching the planet in 2016. The spacecraft changed its trajectory in 2019 and flew over the Great Red Spot twice allowing NASA to use microwave sensors to create the first 3D model of the massive vortex. NASA made an unexpected finding during its Jupiter exploration. The team found that the Great Red Spot storm extends over 200 miles deep into Jupiter's atmosphere, surpassing the depth at which clouds typically form and water condenses. This discovery is vastly different from how Earth's atmosphere works and poses a new challenge for scientists to understand. Unlike Earth storms, microwave observations also show that Jupiter's vortices, such as the Great Red Spot, go deeper than the planet's cloud deck. These revelations could lead to new models and ideas to explain Jupiter's atmospheric processes. Assessing the Great Red Spot's Gravity Although the Juno spacecraft passed over the Great Red Spot at 130,000 miles per hour during its 2019 mission, the massive storm caused it to experience bumps due to the vortex's gravity field. Scientists observe these gravitational disturbances by measuring the changes in the spacecraft's distance from Earth through radio waves. The observances indicated that the Great Red Spot's gravity field extends 300 miles into Jupiter's atmosphere. According to Juno scientist Marzia Parisi, the precise measurements required to obtain this information were impressive. The results of the gravity measurements complement the previous findings from microwave observations by Scott Bolton and his team. The spot is shrinking. The Great Red Spot, Jupiter's iconic storm, has been shrinking for almost 150 years, and it is uncertain how long it will last. NASA's Juno spacecraft is currently studying the storm's behavior up close. The spacecraft has observed flecks of the storm being captured by neighboring clouds, and the storm itself appears to be confined by strong wind conveyor belts on the planet that are stabilizing it. However, scientists have yet to connect this to the changes in the storm size. Juno's data will help researchers better understand the storm's behavior and make more complex models to predict what could happen in the future, including when the storm might disappear. Winds of Jupiter's Great Red Spot are increasing The Great Red Spot is irregular, as seen in the flaking off of some pieces of the storm in 2019 that raised concerns about its disintegration. Researchers analyzed Hubble telescope data from 2009 to 2020, which showed that the winds in the storm's outermost lane, or high-speed ring, had increased by 8%. 
While the winds around the storm center moved much more slowly, the increase in wind speed was unexpected and couldn't be explained by the conversion of angular momentum. The changes are minimal, and scientists can only observe them over a relatively long period. The current understanding of the storm's function is limited due to the need for more visibility beneath the cloud tops. Why is Jupiter's great red spot red? Scientists believe that the reasons behind the red color of the Great Red Spot are still unclear, but there is a possibility that some photochemical products, like smog, play a part because highly dense haze or clouds cover the spot. Although some intriguing explanations exist for the Great Red Spot's distinct hue, they are conflicting. While some scientists believe the red color results from chemicals located deep under the storm's cloud tops, others argue that it's due to sunlight breaking up different chemicals in the storm's upper atmosphere. If the latter is true, it will imply that the remaining part of the Great Red Spot is not red, and we see just the sunburn at the top. Will the Great Red Spot disappear forever? At this point, it's impossible to predict what will happen next to the Great Red Spot. Since it's a unique phenomenon in the solar system, there's nothing like it to compare to. Despite this, Simon and Wong's team have identified similarities between the storm and mid-Atlantic eddies, which could guide future research. If the Great Red Spot were to disappear, the question arises, could another storm like it form? Simon thinks so, as Jupiter has several stable storms, although none are as massive as the Great Red Spot. Jupiter is famous for its unpredictability, and its storms are no exception. The end of the Great Red Spot could mark the beginning of something else, and Jupiter's chaotic beauty is created randomly yet routinely by its unique chemistry. The fate of the Great Red Spot is uncertain, and only time will tell what happens next. Jupiter's Moons and What They Reveal About It Jupiter's complex system of moons, rings, and asteroids consists of thousands of small objects orbiting the giant planet. While Jupiter contains between 80 and 95 moons, these numbers do not fully represent the system's complexity. The International Astronomical Union revealed that small moons would only receive mythological names if they were of valuable scientific interest. Galileo Galilei, an Italian astronomer, was the first individual to observe Jupiter's four largest moons, Galilean satellites, in 1610. First, we have Io, which is the most volcanically active in the solar system. Second is Europa, which is thought to have an ocean of salty water and may be an excellent place to look for extraterrestrial life. Third, Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, has a magnetic field. Lastly, we have Callisto, which is the most heavily cratered object in our solar system. Jupiter's four faint rings are dust from its four innermost moons. The other moons orbit at a farther distance. While asteroids may have captured larger moons, smaller ones may be fragments of larger pieces that collide. The Atmosphere of Juno and Its Composition Juno is a giant gas planet composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. Although it is the largest planet in our solar system, it does not have sufficient mass to become a star. If you attempted to land on Jupiter, you would never find a solid surface, as its atmosphere is 90% hydrogen and 10% helium, with layers extending downwards. The point at which the atmospheric pressure equals that of Earth is considered the planet's surface, and it has a pull of gravity that is 2.5 stronger than on Earth. Scientists believe that a dense layer of metallic hydrogen and another layer of molecular hydrogen surrounds Jupiter's central core. The exact composition of the core remains unknown, but it is thought to be either a hot molten ball of liquid or a solid rock that is 14 to 18 times the Earth's mass. While Jupiter lacks the mass needed to initiate fusion and become a star, it is still two and a half times larger than all the planets in the solar system combined. The Possibility of Water on Jupiter's Moons NASA's Galileo orbiter recently discovered that Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, may contain water reservoirs within its icy shell. These reservoirs are close to the surface, with some just several kilometers below, and may erupt above the surface as plumes of vapor or cryovolcanic activity. The Jupiter spacecraft also snapped clear images of the moon, aiding the research. The discovery explains how plumes could drive surface activity and water depth. NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission is planned to detect these shallow liquid reservoirs and potentially explore the most accessible liquid water bodies in the outer solar system. 
scientists are still studying the makeup and behavior of the subsurface lakes on Europa. The Magnetic Field of Jupiter and How It Affects the Planet Jupiter has a strong and complex magnetic field that scientists believe come from electrical currents in its magnetic hydrogen interior, resulting in a rapid rotation. Compared to Earth, Jupiter's magnetic field is much stronger, being 10 times stronger at the tops of its clouds. Jupiter's magnetic field is also more complex than Earth's, with unique features that do not exist on Earth. The magnetic field is toroidal, with giant Van Allen belts that trap high-energy charged particles. Due to Jupiter's fast rotation, these belts are flattened into plasma sheets. Jupiter's magnetic field rotates every nine hours, and its moons like Amalthea, Io, Europa, and Ganymede pass through this area and, in the process, affect them and the magnetic field. The particles in the belts can cause damage to Io's surface as it orbits Jupiter. Jupiter's Magnetosphere and Auroras Jupiter's magnetic field is huge and affects the space around it. It interacts with charged particles from the Sun, forming a bow shock that deflects them. The magnetosphere changes shape and size depending on the solar wind's strength. Jupiter also has auroras, but the charged particles responsible for them do not originate from the solar wind. Instead, scientists believe they likely come from Jupiter's innermost moons that orbit in the strong magnetic field and trap charged particles. Why Jupiter Doesn't Have Glorious Big Rings Like Saturn Astrophysicist Stephen Kane of the University of California, Riverside, who was bothered by the question of why Jupiter doesn't have a unique ring system like Saturn, along with his colleague astrophysicist Ji Xing Li, conducted a series of simulations of Jupiter's objects to investigate the possibility of a giant ring system around Jupiter. The simulations, which factored in the orbital motion of Jupiter and its four largest moons, revealed that Jupiter could not have Saturn-like rings due to the moons quickly destroying any large rings that may form. Jupiter forms massive moons as an enormous planet, preventing substantial rings from forming. Unlike Saturn's ice-based rings, Jupiter's thin rings mainly comprise dust ejected from some of its moons. Other planets and objects, including Uranus, Neptune, Terraclo, Haumea, and Mars, might also have or develop rings due to gravitational interactions lifting ice off their surfaces. Rings can provide evidence of a planet's history, similar to blood splatter on the walls of a crime scene. Can humans survive on Jupiter? Due to its extreme temperatures, pressures, and materials, Jupiter is unsuitable for supporting life. However, some of its moons, like Europa, could support life. Evidence suggests that Europa has a vast ocean beneath its icy crust that could provide a habitable environment. And there you have it, folks. We've delved deep into the mysteries of the giant planet in the solar system. Jupiter continues to enthrall us with its secrets, including an explosive atmosphere and mysterious core. Who knows what scientists will discover in the years to come? Thanks for joining us, and remember to follow us, like this video, and leave a comment below. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the universe.